Hello, uh, this is Ibrahim again, and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, capturing a frame from your screen. Something like the print screen functionality in your keyboard. In the previous videos we have seen how to load a frame from a, a webcam or a video source. Um, in this video tutorial we're going to look at capturing the screen itself. A frame from the screen, a certain portion from the screen, and so on and so forth. I tried to do this using OpenCV alone, but I couldn't reach um, a solution, um, a solid solution just yet. But hopefully in the future if I could, if I was able to capture the frame using purely OpenCV, I will do a video about that. For now, I ended up using two libraries, uh, PIL, Python uh, Imaging Library. I understand uh, it's now called PLO. Um, if you need to know, basically, uh, Python Imaging Library somewhat stopped in 2009, and then the fork, which called, which was called Pillow, uh, was actively continued the development and so on and so forth. Anyway, aside from those details, we're going to use these two libraries, uh, Pillow and Python. I understand what we are trying to achieve here can be purely implemented using Pillow library. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to combine the two libraries together to actually do things or use functionalities that are in OpenCV over the captured image from the screen. Anyways, so the first thing we have to do is we have to ensure that we have Pillow installed. So I'm going to run uh, PIP. So I've run the command shell here and then PIP 2.7 and then install Pillow. Uh, this is how you should install it. Uh, mine is already installed, so I'm going to jump right into the code. Okay, <clears throat> so first things are first. Uh, what we need to do now is, as usual, we need to import NumPy as MP. Like that. And we also need to import OpenCV, CV2. And now, the imported library. We only need uh, one functionality from the whole of library. From the whole library, so we're going to use only part of it. So from PIL import image grab. So, so this is the imports that we need. After that, the first thing we need to do is import is to grab the image. And to grab the image, we're going to use the grab method inside of the image grab class. So the way we do that, so it's basically since we've imported uh, image grab. So we're going to use image grab grab like that. So this will capture the whole screen. Now, what's, if we capture this whole screen, we need to store it somewhere. So let me store it here, like that. Now, let me let me print this one. I need you to see something here. Uh, let me print the image and let's run this. Oh, I need to save it first. So let's call this um, capture frames. Capture screen better. Save and run. And there we have it. So you can see that we have an object here. And the thing that you should also note is that we did not display the image that we've captured just now, which is basically the screen that we have captured. Let's close it. And if we now let's let's display the image now, yeah? The image that we've captured. Let me run this. Then let's see the image that we've captured. So this is what we are trying to capture now. This is the image that we've captured. And interestingly though, um, when we just displayed image, uh, this is what you generally get. And if you recall in the previous videos that we've seen, uh, like in uh, capturing an image in OpenCV, now if we need to manipulate images in OpenCV, they have to be in a certain format, which is basically the array. Now, this is not the format that OpenCV accepts, so what we need to do is we need to convert this one to an array. How we do that is very simple. So we, this is what NumPy is for. So what we're going to do, let's name this image MP image numpy means so we're going to use the array function from the numpy library and then we supply in the image so this now let's print uh, img underscore mp like that sorry about that so 
So let's print this one and run it and see the output. And now we get the format that OpenCV accepts. Yeah. If you've seen in the preview, you can look at I think tutorial number three in uh, in, in in the series. You will be able to see that if the output if you use the um, uh, I am read, you will be uh, you know what? Let's do that. So let's name this image two, and then we're going to call cv2 that I am read, and then uh, we're going to use the banana uh, the JPEG image, and then let's print img2 like that. Yeah. And so you can see here that the image is in this format, which is basically this array format. It's similarly the other one, which is now that we've converted. So now we have the format that OpenCV accepts. So now what we need to do, we can manipulate things however we want using OpenCV. Now let's do a simple manipulation over this captured image. Let's try to convert it to gray color. So we're going to use the same uh, methods that we've used earlier in the previous videos, CVT uh, color, and then we're going to supply the image. Remember, don't use uh, the original image that we have captured because it's in a format uh, OpenCV does not understand. So we're going to use img underscore mp, and then we're going to use the flag um, color, sorry, underscore uh, bgr to gray I believe BGR to gray like that and then let's try to show the image the changed image uh, this in the same manner that we've seen in the previous videos I am show and then we're going to uh, to give a title to the window let's name it uh, test or uh, frame like that and then we're going to give it the frame which is this uh, which is uh, this variable here of the converted image that we have obtained from the screen and now we're just going to wait for any key to be pressed so that we could close the window like that, yeah. And then we'll just tell uh, CV2 to destroy all windows like that. Let's run this. And this is the output that we have obtained. I uh, do apologize for the resolution, it's a bit huge, but you see, can see it's great. And this is how you basically manipulate things in. So the trick is to convert the image here to an array, a NumPy array, and then you could, uh, so that OpenCV can really work with it or can really understand it. Now, the question, how to choose, now this one captures the whole screen. How about if we just capture a portion of the screen? Interestingly. In um, in Pillow, there is a function that we could use. Sorry, a parameter called BB box. BB box like that, yeah. And what it takes, um, basically, it takes in the uh, x and y coordinates, and then the top, uh, sorry, and the width and the height of the uh, of the frame that we want to take. Remember, now in screens, basically, you start from the top left here now this is the top and this is basically zero zero and then you go down here and then you are working with the y-axis if you go this side you're working with the x-axis you know what let's do this so let's start from the position uh, 100 uh, on, on the x-axis and 10 on the y-axis and we want to just capture 400 uh, of a block of a from 400 pixels and of a height of 780 or you know uh, for uh, let's make this a square and the height of remember this one is basically x y width and the height like that so yeah let's capture this and see what goes on here let's run the module okay save it and run and this is the frame that we've captured so we just captured now there was an offset here, which is basically 100 pixels and 10 pixels from the top. Remember, it's in y-axis, and we moved uh, we moved 100 pixels to, to the right, x, and 10 pixels from the top. The width 400 by 400. Now ignore the the the, the framing here; it's a little off. But anyways, you get the general notion of this. So you can do uh, you can capture uh, and you could embed this in a while loop, while true. 
as we've seen in the in the previous videos you could do a while through here and then you keep running the frames and so in that sense you will be streaming uh, frames from the screen <clears throat> and you will be able to generate sorry and you will be able to generate a video so basically that's it uh, I hope that was helpful and uh, sorry for my voice uh, it's a little off today anyways I hope that was helpful uh, and uh, have a good day goodbye